For Comedy Hype News, I'm Ramil Thompson. The world of comedy changes in the blink of an eye as stars swap in and out for the top spot. A joke that lands well in a movie or a character that becomes iconic due to numerous memes could be the difference between locally known celebrity and worldwide stardom. For Hannibal Burris, his comedy career was something in between as he had been doing comedy since 2002 as a college student before finding success on critically acclaimed programs over the years. Being a working comedian from Chicago, Hannibal Burris' rise in the industry was traditional as he had dabbled in college before truly finding his calling in the industry after dropping out of Southern University, Illinois. Having worked on a handful of short films, along with having appearances on Saturday Night Live, 30 Rock, and The Eric Andre Show, Hannibal was a known comedian capable of getting a set at some of the most prestigious clubs in the country. Count this on top of appearances on Comedy Central, Late Night with Jimmy Fallon, and a secret policeman's ball performance at Radio City Music Hall, and the list isn't too shabby. Still, after all of this and the release of his second comedy album titled Animal Furnace in 2012, one would still not have necessarily considered Hannibal a household name. While the joke came on a night no different from anyone else, many attribute the now infamous bit to blowing up the comedian and Bill Cosby career all in the same breath. Hannibal Burris, it is worth noting, went on to have a solid career from 2014 on, along with some notable career shifts, making it important not to overlook what happened to Hannibal Burris after the Cosby incident. In 2014, for context, Hannibal had been in the process of creating new material in pursuit of his next stand-up special, having already released two specials through Comedy Central. An uneventful show in Philadelphia became the stage where Hannibal in the eyes of some would ruin Bill Cosby. It was during this show that according to the Daily Beast, the comedian told the infamous joke saying, Bill Cosby has the smuggest old man black public persona that I hate. <laughs> So turn the crazy down a couple notches. I don't curse on stage. Well, yeah, but you're a rapist, so. These words appeared to set off a storm of publications calling out Cosby, with others wondering how he was even set to be worked with, considering that the allegations being brought to light in their view was nothing new. Business carried on as usual in the world of entertainment, and Cosby's life went on relatively unchanged in the immediate aftermath of the joke. While Hannibal Burris maintains he is not solely to blame for opening the floodgates to legal issues for Bill Cosby, however, many in popular culture attributed the catalyst to his arrest and case to that of Hannibal. Effects of the joke apparently were not all positive. Many considered Burris to be a feminist hero, a label Burris was uncomfortable with. People are going to put on you whatever they want to put on you. It's conflicting because people think I'm like this amazing guy or something. I'm a decent guy. Nonetheless, it is worth noting that the reaction came more from pop culture as Cosby life in the more professional world was not as dramatically or quickly affected. A sitcom on NBC set to star Cosby was halted in the wake of the then ever growing list of rape allegations against the comedian. In addition, Netflix had postponed the launch of an original stand-up comedy special by Bill Cosby that was set to debut in 2014. The special was directed by Robert Townsend and has yet to see the light of day as of 2023. On the other hand, Burris's career hit new heights with appearances in films like Neighbors and the Secret Life of Pets. He continued to appear on The Eric Andre Show while giving a recurring role in Broad City. For Hannibal Burris, there have been hints at perhaps a move away from comedy and acting during his Jimmy Fallon interview in 2018. During this visit, the comedian revealed that Tag is fast and furious without cars. This was definitely a funny movie especially compared to some others, but overall doing movies is boring. The sentiment was met with laughs, as Hannibal went over other things that fill the time many believe goes into creating a film. With the COVID pandemic striking, Hannibal took the time to work on things he never did, and getting away from him meant being creative, as waiting in hotels to perform during this time got boring, and venues were allowing less and less people if they allow guests at all during this time. After years of being consistent with both film and television work, Hannibal prepared fans for his long-awaited stand-up special as he had been arrested famously in 2017 for being intoxicated before the case was blown up as it was noted the arresting officer had a history of harassment. The theatrical representation of this came to light when Miami Nights was released on June 3, 2020 to a host of fans anxious to see what the star had been working on following his surprising cameos in recent years. In a complex interview, 
Hannibal spoke to what his creative process was during this and following the creation of the stand-up, saying, I have a couple of film concepts, and then we did the Isola Fest doc. That's not a script, but I want to get that together. I have a couple of ideas that could be potentially movies, but I don't know if I'll go that far with them if I want to go through that process of it. That's me speaking just currently, now. Hannibal has taken his career since the incident even beyond comedy in a more serious sense, entering the music industry heavily in 2022. According to a sit down with People Magazine, he opened up about performing under the stage name Ishu Toon. The rap name is not completely new, and the experimenting goes back to 2002 when he met his good friend and current rapper Open Mike Eagle. In May of 2022, he released Ishu Toon, the EP, after having toured and rapped from time to time in addition to the comedy. Hannibal detailed his purpose in a sit down with stereo gum referring to the music saying it's just a way to compartmentalize once i found a name it was just a way to go this is this and that is that and this is what we do over here maybe they work together sometimes even in the silly songs being able to get some messages in there or different frustrations for hannibal burris making music was something he felt was a natural shift and his early years doing comedy overlapped with this goal in some ways foreshadowing that it would come more on his feelings about music were expressed during his sit down with people where he stated that it's good to have this shift i think it'll make for an interesting comedy show you know it does make for a comedy show because i have been living a different life and that's what you talk about your life i'm excited for what the music show is going to be a year from now. We got some different tools and some new toys that I haven't fully learned yet. As far as the journey outside of comedy and deeper into rap, Hannibal's appearance on Steve O' Wild Ride's podcast offered a calmer setting for the comic to truly delve into his feelings and plans for the future. According to Hannibal, he wasn't finding the joy in performing comedy anymore. Oftentimes, he would find himself going on stage to perform and half-assing his material. Hannibal noted that this is something you cannot do with comedy, especially when fans are paying for tickets. Hannibal seems to be enjoying where music is taking him and hasn't ruled out a return to comedy sometime in the future. In the time since Hannibal reignited the sexual assault allegations against Bill Cosby with a joke, Cosby has served time in prison. However, on June 30th, 2021, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court overturned Cosby's conviction due to violating his due rights process and he was released the same day. We're now approaching two years since Cosby's release and Hannibal has completely left stand-up comedy behind for now. Interestingly enough, there's now rumors of Bill Cosby returning to the stand-up stage in 2023, picking up the mic where Hannibal left off. Stay up to date with the latest news and comedy by subscribing here to our YouTube channel, follow Comedy Hype across all social media, and look out for original content on our new streaming service at ComedyHype.com. For Comedy Hype News, I'm Ramil Thompson.